I guess I'm just going to have to slap myself on the head. I made just one little mistake on the first take, and now i got to redo this video all over again. And I lost my notes, so I'll have to do it from my memory banks. But uh, talk about a jam. We're throwing down some jams now. We had Pointer Sisters with Gold Mine at number 31. Now we got Cool and the Gang with Victory, one of the catchiest records. We're talking about cutting some deep grooves, some delicious grooves, audio candy, munch on it all day, never loses it, loses its flavor. Had a fantastic backbeat to it. Cool and the Gang with Victory at number 30, up from 31 on my fancy playlist. Back in uh, November 29, 1986, just watched a little bit of the video on YouTube. The basketball injury, it just all came back. All the memories just flooded right back. And I feel like I'm, I'm going down this time vortex. I'm plunging down this time for, vortex. I'm in 1986. 1986, no PCs, no cell phones. Well, there were cell phones, but not as prevalent as they are now. No, no Blackberries, just a phone on the hook, and you got your cable TV, and if you didn't have a remote, you got up and turned the channel. <laughs> I just remember watching it on Night Tracks in 1986. And, and now here it is, 2015. Victory by Cullen the Gang. Cullen the Gang, now you're not going to believe this about Cullen the Gang. They started out as a jazz outfit called the Jazzy Axe in 1964. Then they tapped into the funk. We want the funk. We want it now, and they did it. They tapped into it and uh, yielded their first album. They changed their name to Cool and the Gang. The album was called Cool and the Gang in 1969. They started to achieve commercial success in 1973. Remember hearing this song? First heard in the summer of 73, Jungle Boogie by Cool and the Gang. I said, man, this is one badass jam. It was uh, it was very similar in a way to, I think it was the Cadets, when they did, uh, was it Stranded in the Jungle or something like that back in 1956? along that same flavor, just a wild record, wild R&B record. And uh, there was Hollywood Swinging in the summer of 74, probably their first really big mainstream record. And then J.T. Taylor joined the group in the late 70s. Here's an interesting thing about J.T. Taylor. J.T. Taylor was a huge fan of Cool the Gang. He crashed backstage at one of their concerts, or after one of their concerts, and he was turned away. Is like, man, I want to meet you guys. You guys are my heroes. Out of here, son. <laughs> gotta, get, gotta get on out of here. But, uh, and then later became lead singer of the band. And he did it. And oh my goodness, they hit this commercial groove. They got into this commercial flow in the late 70s. Starting in the late 70s, it would last for nine years. And they just could do no wrong. Again, like the Pointer Sisters, like Billy Ocean, like Lionel Richie, like Michael Jackson, Cool and the Gang were a mass appeal band. They weren't just appealing to one group. They were everybody. Let's bring in the Rainbow Coalition and let's throw down on the dance floor. Cool and the Gang. Victory. Uh, let's see, I've lost my train of thought. What, was I, what else was I going to say about Cullen Gang? That's why I should have had my notes with me, but I don't. Uh, their last album was called Forever. I believe it was called Forever. I had it down on my notes. And uh, Victory was the biggest song off the album. It went to number 10 on the pop charts, and number 2 on R&B. They had another song after that off the album called Stone Love, which didn't do as well, a lost 45. But Victory is also, it's basically a lost 45 now. Boy, in the 80s, it started... Cool and the Gang, their, their commercial streak, the peak, started the winter of 79 and 80 when they came out with Ladies Night. Then it was Celebration in the fall of 1980, early 81. And then you get into Joanna. Joanna was a beautiful record by them. Joanna, uh, there was, uh, I'm going off my memory banks, there was Misled, there was Fresh. There was uh, Cherish in 1985, and Emergency, Need 10 CCs of Hot Passion. <laughs> that was a brilliant line from Emergency, another great dance record by Gullin Gang. But uh, here's Victory now at number 30 on my fantasy playlist, November 29, 1986.